what's cool about this is that we've got the starter kit and so you kind of get the CMS and the website design all in one package. New article to see if git commit triggers a static gen and deploy. According to Jack McDade, all I need to do is follow these things and everything is going to work out. Oh, hey, Jack. Well, speak of the devil, holy. Well, if Jack's watching, why don't we just get going? Up? Okay, so let's just see what happens if I clone it this way. Open GitHub desktop. All right, so now I just need to go in there and... All right, so that's done. And then we need to do this. All right, so this is all loading. And then we'll do the next step. Holy Dinah, there's a lot to install here. I think this means I'm going to be running the new Statomic 3 beta once all this is done. It's pretty cool. What's cool about this is that we've got the starter kit, and so you kind of get the CMS and the, the website design all in one package. Okay, there we go. And now we're going to do this. That was set successfully. And now I just need to make a new user. Hmm. Mm hmm. Yes. Nice. Okay, so if this worked, I should be able to go to onlypodcasting.test. Didn't work. Why didn't it work? Am I running ballet? Ballet link? By the way, Jack McDade, did you see what I just did? I figured out how to, I, I just remembered how to link ballet. Let's see if it works. Holy Dinah, We're, we are rolling here. Now, can I log in here? Ooh, I like this, I like this login screen. Oh my God. This is sweet. Statomic 3 is in beta. Uh, after this, I'll have to buy a license. Of course I will. Wow, I'm so excited about this. Okay, so we've got collections, articles, pages, structures. Yeah, look at this. Celebration. Celebration time. This is fun. This is the first time I've actually seen Statomic 3, like the interface. I wonder if I'm smart enough to do this Netlify thing where you can, where is that? You're looking for github.com statomic SSG. Okay. Is that, do you think that's, you think that's too far ahead of my pay grade, Jack? Of course it is, but so I can just run all this and it just, so let's see what happens here. Hmm. It's doing some stuff. Let's go back here. You may also publish the config file. Why do I want to do that? Uh, okay, let's go back here. All right, so it's here. Um, do I need to do this? You may also publish the config file. Is this optional? It's optional. Okay. Can I do it later? Or am I stuck if I don't do it now? I can do it later. Okay. So sounds like I can just generate this right now. And then there's deployment examples. Okay, so first let's just do this part. Whoa, there's all my articles and stuff. Okay, deploy to Netlify, deploy to Surge, deploy to, okay. Now, create a site in your Netlify account. I think I signed up for a Netlify account a long time ago. So create a new site from Git. Okay, GitHub. I'm assuming I'm doing the right thing right now. Authorized. There we go. Okay, save. Now this should work. There we go. Okay. Um, is there anything I need to do here? So I gotta. I gotta do this. Is there a special build command? Oh, this is the build command. Okay. 
Anything else? Okay, let's just let's just do this. Let's see what happens. Oh, did I not add the environment variables? Where do I do that? Uh oh. Now I now I just messed it up. So I details, build and deploy. Edit settings, base directory, dumping again. Where do I set these environment variables? Oh, here we go. Environment variables. Okay. Right? And then this as well. Save. Okay, can I just do it again? Trigger deploy. But look at all this crazy stuff it's doing. So you're saying app URL. Oh, that thing. When I really want this. Okay. Okay. This is what I want, right? Sorry, folks. I'm a, I'm still new to Netlify. I did it one other thing on Netlify, so I'm still new. Um. Oh, it still worked though. <laughs> this is so crazy. So I could connect a do custom domain to this and it just, this will just work. So now every time, okay, let's try this. Let's go back. Let's go, okay. Let's go back here and let's go new article to see if git commit triggers a uh, deploy to Netlify. Well, not just a deploy, triggers a static gen and deploy. Oh, you think so, Jack? Well, let's just see. Let's just see how fancy this thing is. All right, so we go back here, testing to see if Jack is a liar. It should be redeploying now. Let's see here. It's building. Okay. Netlify is listening. If I understand correctly, Sandamix stores all the collections, etc., locally in files. Yeah, they're all in Markdown files. If I still know my stuff. Correct. All right, what's going on here? Building. Published. Okay, this is the moment of truth. Look at this. People. Jack McDade is not a liar. He's a truth teller. He's a he's a truth sayer. This worked. Wow.